In this video, let's discuss on how to connect and interface a switch and a buzzer into our micro. The main objective is to build a fully functional man-machine interface hardware, a means for the user to communicate to our project, a switch for the user to push act like a keyboard, and a buzzer to be emitted by the project as a confirmation of pressing the switch. And of course, we still use our LED as a visual indicator while I'm developing the real LCD display. Let's dive to the details after my intro. Our basic starter hardware discussed in episode 4 is composed only of an LED connected in a current sync mode at port P3.6. This configuration was chosen to be compatible with other standard 8051 core derivatives like Atmel, Megawin, and other 8051 core, wherein the micro can only see current meaning the current can only go inside the micro and it cannot source current, meaning the current cannot drive the LED if the current is from the micro. The buzzer BZ1 is also connected into the current sync mode. It's the same reason as the LED discussed above. It is connected to bit port P2.2 I choose this part during the design states and the input-output mapping definition. The Switch S9 was interfaced into the micro connected at P3.7 with an intention that it will be active in logic zero. This is so because the port of the standard 851 micro is active logic one at reset. This means we cannot choose the switch to be active logic one. My program example, program 8, switch buzzer, LED, and the real hardware. It is an event-driven program, and the PDL or program description language is as follows. 1. When the DC supply is power on, the blue LED will lead for 2 seconds, then it goes off. 2. It waits for the user to press the key. If there is no user key press or no activity, the program will do nothing. 3. When the user depress the key, a beep is emitted on the buzzer and the LED will blink one second on, one second off repeatedly, repeatedly, and forever. That's the PDL. It looks quite simple. But uh, let's see how to translate that description in a series of instructions in the program. Let's dive into the details. Let me do the declaration by naming its port into its alias so I can easily remember in English level rather than numerical number. Like P3.6 is the port controlling the LED according to the way the LED is connected into the micro. Similarly, the switch S9 is connected at P3.7. I want to call it power on off switch and the BZ1 connected at P2.2 will be named as buzzer. Let me further configure the switch S9 which needs to take care of the debounce in a real world characteristics of a switch uh, wherein when you press it, it bounces like a ball until it will rest. Let me put the debounce time to be like uh, 30 millisecond. Let me guess for that. In the main program as defined by PLD, turn on the LED using the reset blue LED instruction. Maintain the LED lighted for 2 seconds denoted by the instruction wait 2. After that, turn off the LED with the instruction set blue LED 1. The do loop is used to keep repeating the instruction 
the bounds for watching if anyone will going to press the key denoted by the power on of switch and the level is logic zero. If no one will going to depress the switch, the program will running within the do loop forever. But once the user depress the switch, the program flow will jump into the power and off key depressed. Take note that the key pressed on buzzer is put into a subroutine or mini program because this will be invoked into every depress of switch and simply use the call instruction whenever you need it, like call key pressed on buzzer. According to the PLD, the LED now will bring 1 seconds on and 1 seconds off repeatedly and this is denoted by the do loop endless instruction executing the instruction inside it. Let's see the subroutine. This is the format and how to declare a subroutine in Bascom programming. The name of our subroutine is Keypreston Buzzer. The BZ1 Buzzer is commanded by the sound instruction with a duration of 70 pulses and frequency of 90, which is the time to be poured logic low. Finally, it's the end of the program with the end instruction. All right, this is it. That's the end of program description and um, we are ready to compile the program and download the hex file into our development board. I'm basically using the DR100 control module. You may like to see episode 2 for the compilation and episode 5 for the hex file download into the ROM of our micro. Let's run the program and let's see if it is the same output as per PLD. Alright, let me power on by pressing the switch at the bottom of the board. And yes, the LED turn on for 2 seconds and then turn off. I'm not going to press the switch right now. Let me just observe it. This switch in here is the one connected to P3.7. Now, the program is doing nothing. There is no any display on the LED. There is no really action. So, let me press the key now and... Uh, yes, it beep and the LED is blinking now. And let's see if it is keep blinking forever. Wait some minutes. And yes, it keep blinking. To qualify further the program, I can remove the USB from the PC and I can use a power bank uh, to supply the plus 5 volt into the development board. And um, I can do that several times uh, to make it sure that the uh, hex file has been fully programmed into the room of the micro and will not go into erase it uh, whenever I remove and plug in the plus 5 volt disk supply. And then the program will always have the correct output as per the PDL. This is a form of qualification and a short reliability of our program, Program 8. So, uh, what else we can do now? As the programmers say, it's almost had. Uh, actually, it is possible also to change the PDL and make the buzzer meet the beep every time the LED will lit. And it's easy to do that in the program. Just move call key preston buzzer inside the do loop instruction make a call to that subroutine it's easy as that save the program as uh, program 8.1 switch buzzer led real hardware beef every seconds compile it and download the program and there you go so the led will turn on and the buzzer will beef every time the led will lit
when the LED is turned off, there is no beef exactly as you want it to be. Well guys, it's the end of my video for episode 6. If you have question or clarification, let me know in the comment below. And also, consider to subscribe for me to grow my channel and create more free tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye for now.